Today, a sector of Metro government met to discuss evictions and its impact on tenants and landlords, especially on the heels of this pandemic. News 4's Danielle Jackson was there. Wednesday morning, the members of the Metro Human Relations Commission listened to the testimonies from several organizations that help landlords and tenants. Well, the purpose was to draw attention and not only draw attention, but to also try to uh, gather information so that we can issue a report that would give light and hopefully some policy recommendations to this uh, eviction crisis. Housing advocates ranging from the court system to nonprofit organizations discuss how they've been assisting tenants and landlords with assistance throughout the pandemic, but have ran into some key issues. Several. One would be the length of time it takes from when someone is approved for rental assistance to the time that the payment actually happens. That's a problem. Right now, Metro Action Commission says they have about 6,500 applications for rental assistance. They say the funding they receive has been a game changer for families who've received the assistance. We're looking at being able to satisfy debts as much as twenty and thirty thousand dollars, which includes monies or rent that are that are past due. Plus, because we are in a housing crisis, we are also able to pay forward. The lack of affordable housing in Metro Nashville was something each organization mentioned was a problem in the quest to help residents. Chairperson Davy Tucker says affordable housing has been a long time issue, but the pandemic put it in overdrive. Now, it used to be that when you got displaced from the urban core, you moved out to Antioch or Goodlettsville or somewhere. Now, when you get displaced, you're having to leave the county, basically, to find housing. And it shouldn't be that way, particularly with all the prosperity here in Nashville. Danielle Jackson, News 4 Nashville.